Good morning. Uh, this is Future Gadget speaking. After I've realized while editing that I didn't really explain how we heard about the hurricane much and how we processed everything. Um, when we got back on trail, we had no idea a hurricane was coming. I did get a text from our friend Ralph. I don't know if you guys remember her. She was doing the long trail and we met her um, on her AT portion of it. And it said basically like, did you know you're heading into a hurricane? We didn't know. We knew it was gonna rain that day uh, for the next like few days, but we had no idea. So I kind of like laughed it off, didn't really think much of it. Um, that night while we were on trail um, at the first shelter, we it didn't it didn't really get much service. Um, so every time it was popping in and out, and as it was popping in, I was getting text messages from uh, Sassafras, Mountain Goat, GPS, uh, Ralph. Um, one or two other people, I think, and it just, every time service went out, I wasn't getting anything, and then, like, 40 minutes later, I'd get another text, and it was giving me so much anxiety, and we had no idea what was going on, especially being on trail. It's a little bit scary, um, hearing about a, um, tropical storm coming. At that point, that's what it was, um, so... It was very stressful. It was a stressful, scary night, and we had to make the best decision for ourselves. At this point, we really only had two options, one being get it off at Sokoa Gap in 2.5 miles, or do our original plan, which was 16 miles to the NOC, um, and chance that it's not gonna be as bad as they're saying. Um, but let's go see what we end up doing. I slept maybe three hours last night. The, the rain was just so loud. And then there was this banging noise that kept hitting the shelter. And we didn't know what it was. And I also heard like a weird breathing noise. And no, it was not soap. Because um, <laughs> I could hear him like stirring. Um, and then when I woke up, I talked to him about it. And he said he could also hear it. And we're the only ones here. So we think maybe an animal climbed under the shelter to get out of the rain, um, but that had to have been some big animal. That was terrifying. Um, so yeah, today <laughs> today should be interesting. Like the rain, like the precipitation thing. Are you filming me? Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Um, it looks like maybe it's going to go to a kind of moderate. So right now, apparently, this is heavy. Oh God. <laughs> And it's going to moderate around maybe 11 o'clock ish. Okay. For maybe a few hours. So, what'd you call last night then? Because this is not moderate. I mean, this is not heavy. I don't think this is heavy. Like extra heavy? Uh, there, there is a, an extreme. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not that bad. I'm getting a little bit concerned. I think it'll be funny, but I just got a text from my mom saying, are you aware or are you well prepared for the hurricane? And I said, well, we're both very aware of it. <laughs> so, this should be fun. <laughs> All right, after a pretty long nap, uh, it's about 12.30. Uh, so when I are gonna pack up and head down towards Stokoa Gap. Uh, it's a pretty main road and we're thinking about getting a hitch. I haven't had service for, uh, I've had a little bit of spotty service since we left Montana yesterday. So it's had a, a, a little bit here and there as well, but we remember that he had some pretty good service down at that gap. So we're gonna try and in this little break of rain. Um, I know you can still hear it, it's just not as bad as it has been all morning. We're hoping it doesn't get any worse while we're hiking. Uh, we're gonna do the two miles down to the gap and hope for a hitch or a call a shuttle. Wish us luck. <laughs>
we're about to go out there. <laughs> Not even back on the trail yet, and look how pretty these are. All right, good afternoon. Um, we left at about 1.40 when there was a slight break in the rain. But, oh, I just went up a little hill. Little. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. Um, but my legs are kind of remembering what to do on the hills. And it feels like a nice day. But don't let that fool you. Because we hear that a big hurricane is coming through. Whoops, spider web. Might have just been last night, but they're saying into early tomorrow morning, maybe late tomorrow. So it'll probably hit again soon. And if not, at least we were prepared. Whew. I like the fog through the trees. Yeah, definitely some of the gaps would go through. There might be some flooding. But also our feet were wet all day yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about that per se. It's just that, again, if shit gets washed away, you're like, maybe, you know. Yeah, there could be like mudslides and shit. But if the governor's like worried and like I'm getting a bunch of messages, Charlie Smart, we're getting off. But also like with the amount of rain that falls, like it, it weakens the soil so that more trees will fall. Absolutely. Absolutely, especially with the trees that were like dropping on the shelter last night. Yeah. Ooh. But we'll try hitching and then if not we'll get a a shuttle. Yeah. What did you just say? They've upgraded us from tropical storm to hurricane. <laughs> to hurricane. So that's nice. That's lovely. <laughs> Who doesn't love an upgrade? I like upgrades. Yeah. <laughs> it's this positive mental attitude we have that gets us through so much. Absolutely. I'm also really liking the light rain we're getting now. Yes. Um, yeah, I love this. This, this is summer. beautiful. Yeah. It just makes everything brighter. And it has that smell. It does. Mm. So nice. Yeah. And I have to comment on the flat ground. <laughs> no rocks and roots. It's so nice. So beautiful. I mean, there's a few, but <laughs> but not a ton at all. Ah, it's just so pretty. Well, the good news is that we're gonna have at least like the rest of the day and probably tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> to do whatever. Do some editing and reading. Oh, I'm loving my book right now. Yes, I'm loving mine. You like yours? Yeah. Good. I'm going to have to pick up a new one soon. You are? Not like soon, soon, but I'm already like a sixth of the way through. Yeah. And we're only one day in. <laughs> I mean, The Alchemist is a short book, so. Yeah. Because isn't it about like finding your purpose or like accepting like where you're at? A little bit. No, go ahead. I mean, as long as you're not spoiling things. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything. You take that spoil or anything. Yeah. Okay, I would love to know like what it means to you afterwards as yeah. well. whether or not it's on this one or one further away. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure like we'll get some traffic, yeah. but not a ton of traffic. I'm, not I'm a little worried. <laughs> Looking on that area. Yeah, they were, they were working like on the embankment and stuff further up. Yeah. So you couldn't like... Maybe... You the, the cut along the trail up there, but you couldn't then cut down... Into the gap. The gap. That makes a lot of sense. I, you know, sometimes... Okay, they did finish the steps. This is nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, look how pretty the leaves look on the yeah. the wood. Oh, nice. Good aesthetic road workers. Nice. It's like they meant to do this on purpose. <laughs> Not too shabby.
keep the droplets on this. Wow. When we made it to Sokoa Gap, I called around to probably about five different shuttles um, and hostels in the area. Everyone, for some reason, was about two hours away. They couldn't get us for two or three hours, and we didn't know when said hurricane would hit, so we were terrified. We also found out that the storm that we were in that day slash the day before was a pre-storm, and it wasn't even the actual hurricane. So it was storm and then a hurricane. Honestly, I was getting a little bit worried. Um, the fog was rolling in. Uh, there's There wasn't much clearance around the bend, and because of that, um, I don't think cars were seeing us very well. So Koa Gap is definitely a good place to get a hitch, um, but for some reason, a lot of people weren't out because they knew a hurricane was coming. They were a lot smarter than us, um, and that fog just was ripping through, and the rain was it was it was rough. So we were lucky we got out when we did. Okay, so we've called around to very like a bunch of different places, and we finally found someone who is going to give us a ride into Robbinsvale from Stokoa Gap. Um, his name's Fred. Seems really nice. Um, and then we're gonna figure out what to do next because apparently this hurricane Helene or Helen or whatever is going to go straight through where we're at, and so we're gonna get the center of it either tonight or tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. So I think it's definitely the right move to get off trail. Um, and I'm glad that like all of my family members have been texting me, my mother's been texting me about it. <laughs> we would have had no idea. <laughs> and we would have been just like hiking in it or potentially just like hunkered down at a shelter. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do and go from there. But potentially it is going to be the most intense storm this area has seen in a very, very long time. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> While we are in Robbinsville, we weighed all of our options and this was a really hard decision for us to make. Um, one of the reasons we came back out on trail, um, especially for me personally, is when I first started the AT, I was not physically fit um, at all. And some of these mountains and hills just kicked my butt. And so I wanted to kick their butt right back. And the NOC was one of them. And it I was struggling with the fact that I might not be able to do it this trip. And extreme southern Virginia is forecast to receive 8 to 12 inches of rain over the next several days, in addition to tropical storm force winds 40 to 60 miles an hour as Hurricane Helene impacts the region. Yeah. Travel on the trail is not recommended. Please monitor the forecast and radars carefully for the... Hey, this... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tropical cyclone statement issued. Tropical storm warning. Blood watch. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so I've just got like an actual public safety alert. Yikes. Since when? Uh, the one where Holly was out and she was blocking his sister. Oh, the like tornado warning. Yeah, and I was on top of the mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, guys, you guys were like, you, you messed me back so you run down the mountain, so. Well, and then Holly said, put your thumb out and hitchhike down with the tornado. But I didn't see that text call. <laughs> you told me to run down a mountain when a tornado was coming. Okay, back up record. She's got apparently had then told them that the tornado warning in the mountains was not to be worried about. Well, yeah, because the mountains break up the tornadoes. But, I knew that. But that I thought you knew that. That information was not access <laughs> to me, so I'm like panicking and running down the mountain. Let's be fair. He got there faster and he survived. Yeah. Sitting in Robbinsville was a little bit tough. Um, still didn't realize how bad the hurricane was. Was starting to figure it out. Um, but we didn't know how bad it was going to be. And so we didn't want to be stuck in Robbinsville. The hotels there, I believe, were a little bit over 100. And I didn't know if there was going to be flooding or damage or any of that. So we had to risk assess. And I didn't want to stay in a hotel for two to four slash five days until we were able to like leave the town. Robbinsville is a small town, not super small but small enough and we wanted to get out now. So we made the decision to get a kind of pricey shuttle and pricey because of miles because we went from Robbinsville in North Carolina, I believe it's in North Carolina, down to Hiawassee in Georgia. We had already planned on going 
uh, down to Hiawassee um, to the Green Dragon when we got to that point on trail. Uh, so it just seemed like the right option. We did skip a bunch of miles, which is okay because we don't have anything to prove to anyone. And this was supposed to be a, a fun um, kind of mentally recharging trip. But we made that decision because if we needed to stay somewhere for a couple days because of this hurricane, um, because we didn't know what kind of damage was going to happen, we'd rather it have been in a place where we felt comfortable, we knew the people, and um, it just felt like home to us. So I think we made the right decision and it just, things happen and you just kind of have to roll with the punches sometimes. Um, nothing on this trip has been what we expected and I don't expect the rest of the trip to be any different, to be honest. <laughs> and when you think about it, that's how life is sometimes. So. It was a nice it was a nice learning experience and kind of kind of a little bit fun. Yeah, big fan of Man Cross that whole like that whole like set up of the people there. That's Snail's Gap, right? Yep. Okay. Oh cool. There's uh right above the hostel, there's like the employee with it. Okay, we're back at the Green Dragon, which is like awesome, so we got shuttled here. And the surprise worked out. Uh, we surprised them with Sophia. They had no idea he was coming. So uh, if you're in the area, please stay at the Green Dragon. This place is awesome. Heck but yeah. we have another surprise. That's right, Blessings is here. We actually played a little trick on Bill and Donna at the Green Hostel. They had no idea Soap was coming back. Uh, they did know I was coming back, so we pretended like his name was Ducky, and we shuttled all the way down here, and they were ecstatic. Um, so we're gonna shower, and we're gonna stay in our bunks. Actually, Blessings is staying in this one, Soap and I, and we're gonna, you know, just enjoy it and ride out the hurricane all together. After catching up a tiny bit, um, it's been really nice to see everyone again, and we're definitely gonna have loads of time tomorrow to catch up because we're gonna have to wait out the storm in Hiawassee, which is totally okay. I'm glad that we're here around familiar faces and Blessings finishes potentially in three days after the storm passes. So I'm really excited that we got to see her towards the end of her hike. And I'm just so proud of how far she has come. Um, but it's just gonna be very interesting trying to get back out on trail. I heard loads of the roads are closed. Um, so we're just gonna have to play it by ear as we go on. But for now, we'll stay here, we'll stay dry, we'll stay happy and continue on when we can, when the roads are safe. Um, the re one of the reasons we, s we decided to get off trail and you saw all the texts and pictures we were getting. This is supposed to be the biggest storm of this generation uh, on the East Coast. Um, so there's gonna be landslides, flooding. It's just not safe hiking weather. Um, we've definitely bit, have hiked through uh, different hurricanes before. However, this one's just going to be absolutely insane. So better safe than sorry. We're going to stay off trail. It's going to kind of hop around and see and maybe just do some of our favorite hikes. Um, not exactly what we planned, but nothing never is. And honestly, we like a good plan until a better one comes along. And that's always been our motto, motto and we'll probably stay forever. So thanks again for watching and good night. What the hair looks like when we take it out of the braids. Beautiful. Yeah. Sponsored by.